The Center for the Study of Carbon Dioxide and Global Change is a 501 nonprofit organization based in Tempe, Arizona. The center produces a weekly online science newsletter called CO2 Science. The center was founded and is run by Craig D. Idso, along with Sherwood B. Idso, his father, and Keith E. Idso, his brother. They came from backgrounds in agriculture and climate. According to the IDSOs, they became involved in the global warming controversy through their study of Earth's temperature sensitivity to radiative perturbations and plant responses to elevated CO2 levels and carbon sequestration. The center sharply disputes the consensus scientific opinion on climate change shown in IPCC assessment reports, and believes that global warming will be beneficial to mankind. Funding The center does not discuss their funding, saying, we believe that ideas about the way the world of nature operates should stand or fall on their own merits, irrespective of the source of support for the person or organization that produces them. According to IRS records, the ExxonMobil Foundation provided a grant of $15,000 to the center in 2000. Another report states that ExxonMobil has funded an additional $55,000 to the center. ExxonMobil stated it funded organizations which research significant policy issues and promote informed discussion on issues of direct relevance to the company. These organizations do not speak on our behalf, nor do we control their views and messages. Sherwood Idso attributed the funding to, "...they probably liked what we typically had to say about the issue. But what we had to say then, and what we have to say now, came not, and comes not, from them or any other organization or person. Rather, it was and is derived from our individual scrutinizing of the pertinent scientific literature and our analyses of what we find there, which we have been doing and subsequently writing about on our website on a weekly basis without a single break since 15 July 2000, and twice monthly before that since 15 September 1998 and no one could pay my sons and me enough money to do that." The center was also funded by Peabody Energy, America's biggest coal mining company. Projects The center's stated purpose is to disseminate factual reports and sound commentary on new developments in the worldwide scientific quest to determine the climatic and biological consequences of the ongoing rise in the air's CO2 content." Medieval Warm Period Project, intended to document peer-reviewed studies of the Medieval Warm Period MWP, and to determine was MWP global in extent? How warm was MWP compared to the current warm period CWP? Was MWP longer or shorter than the CWP? Non-governmental International Panel on Climate Change NIPCC, the NIPCC website states that its reports were boosted when Craig Idso agreed to combine the center's collections of reviews of science with the work of the NIPCC which had been conceived and founded by Fred Singer. Reception A December 2009 article in Mother Jones magazine said the center was a promoter of climate disinformation. <laughs> 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 <laughs